Think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. What do you mean, so they're safe? You think someone's just gonna bring some... some gunpowder and... some cannonball up there, just light it off? I guess it's broken. Never mind, there would definitely be something that would do that. Who doesn't love a good explosion? Find anything? No, not even trash. Am I able to go inside this thing? Oh, let me. Maybe I go down downstairs again. How can I help? If you can find anything to help me get this open faster, that'd be great. Take a look around. Have you seen any walkers around? I haven't seen any, but they're always around. I can't go out there either. Oh. What am I supposed to be looking for? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Someone or something. Shit, shit, shit. Who the fuck is that? this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see oh, he's what bringing he's up a to. fucking cannonball. I don't like having some strangers oh, sneaking my around so God. close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I oh, know he's got a brace. I thought he was carrying something heavy. He's gonna try to get that cannon going. Hey. Alright, let's just talk to him. He looks pretty nerdy. He can't hurt anyone. Hey. Oh! I just want to talk to you. Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Oh, what's his name? I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Arvo. Malinka Devochka. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Huh? Back up. What's in the bag, Put Arvo? The bag down. <clears throat> Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Sorry, dude. You did pull a gun on me, though. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a. Why does he have all this stuff? Anything? Uh, yeah. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. Bunch of oxy in there? No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. 
It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, who? we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. Your you are people. not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm... I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. I'm taking them. Sorry. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will wish you had undone this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Is it safe to let him go? <laughs> we might be making don't a pivotal you turn ever here. Come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. We should go get everyone else. He pulled a gun on us. Yeah. All right. Fuck that guy. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. You know what? I probably wouldn't have taken the meds if Jane didn't make such a strong argument for it. We got fucked up people too. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. <laughs> You're Jane up. and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. Uh, 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 you, you took all of it. Seriously, you stole meds from somebody. Rebecca needs them. I know, but Kenny needs them. You probably need at? them. Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Oh, yeah. don't be disappointed in me, Luke. Gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. I don't her. think she wants to get close she's to anyone. And she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I, I believe that, huh? That I believe maybe it. Maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Do you think that's the first time I've seen that? Carver deserved that's what That's not what to changed him. me. <laughs> he was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I'm 
not supposed to be in labor yet, can we? What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things like, I should have talked to him about. Like the baby might not be yours? How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. I trust them a lot more right now than I do Jane. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? You should dole out some medication for Kenny. Fuck. How are you feeling, Rebecca? I knew it was gonna hurt, Clem. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Jane and I found some medicine. Is it safe for Rebecca to take? Mm. Well, should make her more comfortable anyway. Clementine, you are my favorite person in the entire world. Yeah, so you find out what I had to do to get it. <laughs> I like how she neglected the fact that we robbed someone for it. At gunpoint. Good. Looks like we're going to get that chance to talk to Sarah, too. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting... They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How... Um, you didn't leave me. Did you want me to? I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. You got bit, Sarah. He's you dead. saw it, and that's you why you ran off. Happen. You need to face that. <laughs> Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be alright. Stop fucking coddling her. Her dad screwed her up enough as is. I hope one of these buildings is safer than out here. I wonder if Mike and Bonnie have found anything at the museum. This looks like where we are right now. Observation deck. Oh, so they were farther down the, the road. Okay. All right, let's be on our way. Why is there that murder of crows just sitting there? Is that a sign for us? Or what's to come?
Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. I think that's even more reason why. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. Why we need to steal that medicine. I watch this side. You watch the other. Just because Deal. we're in a position now where we don't have anything. That hardware store, whatever it was, it had everything. James Food, water, medical supplies. It just sucks. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also, really loud. Good point. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Do you want it? That's real sweet of you, Clem, but you should probably hang on to it for Rebecca. That's true. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Just don't Clem fuck us over. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess it's better than nothing, though. Oh, I don't think she's going to care when she's freezing her ass off. What a thing to fucking point out. Oh, God. There have sure been some animals through here. He would have loved this place. Watch where you step. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Hey, you see anything? Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Empty. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. I guess the door must be locked, huh? Over here. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. You know, I don't I think Mike to is going to make it. More, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just <coughs> open the door from the other side. Michael yeah, those out. I've been doing this Might since I was nine, all right? Eight. So make sure you have your fucking screwdriver or gun or something. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Uh, pull me out, pull me out! <gasps> this is a fucking screwdriver, Clem. Well, that happened. Well, we better get what we're gonna get and get the fuck out of here. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. 
I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. So we got water, beds. Oh, we're missing some food. Oh god, she's not gonna get this, is she? Hey, I got this. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Still a little kid. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. No, no, that's not good. Come on, stick close. It's probably more zombies coming in from that noise. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> not like. I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Yeah, I don't think you had to clarify yourself. Huh? Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! By clarifying things, you just made it weird. Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Shoot! Poor little guy. Dang it. <laughs> Not with the walkers out there. Oh. Yeah, we can't do that. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, <laughs> I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You guys gotta get to a place where you can hunt some elk or some deer. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. Oh, oh boy. Why shit, haven't you guys made your way over yet? Oh God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Clem! Clementine! There, figure your shit out now, shit. Sarah. Walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. There's so many of them. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? We can't stay here. Come in time. Where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me out. Oh, God. Uh... There's so many. We uh, uh, gotta get out of here. Mike, the water. On it. We probably should have went for the zombies Sarah, all together. Let's go. Hey, he's got some ways to get out. Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that, that isn't... He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... You know what? Let Kenny be Kenny. Kenny! Damn it. Why are we like stuck in our labyrinth here? What the hell? Let's run up the road. So they all followed us here, huh? It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. What were you guys doing? G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um... What's going on? Well, uh, I mean, in here, let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, 
Hold on a sec. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kent. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over here. Shit. <laughs> They're coming up the stairs. Here. Well, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. You don't need your gun. We can't let them up. We're going to stab them. The gate. We're gonna waste all our ammo on that Russian crazy to come back with his people. There are too many of them. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Hurry the fuck up. Mine's up to the block this gate! Help us! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Or something. Clem! Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's suicide. Just pull me up. We can't leave her without even trying. Just go! Come on, Jane. We need you in this moment. Actually, there's a lot of them there. You're not going to be able to cut that cable. No fucking way. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Everyone inside. They're getting closer. Clementine. Move it. I don't think that's how that I'm works. Going as okay. fast as I can. Watch it. Son of a bitch. Suddenly they just don't care anymore. Like, huh? We give up. We surrender. Oh, no. What happened? Okay, so there's a baby. Is it? Get it. <gasps> Yo, what's up, Sammy? That's a little bit of hope that everyone needed.
Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. So it's a little he boy. looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? See? Do you want to hold him? Uh. I don't know how. Sammy, thank it's you easy. for the follow. Just keep him close and support his head. I should have picked my option. Look at you. I'm good. Like I've had enough. <laughs> Here, let me take it. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. <laughs> but somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. doesn't look very comfortable. Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Why? Go. Go where? Just away, okay? You know, Jamie. Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen. When the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. It's a really shitty outlook. you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Okay. Take it. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. Making a bad choice. I get it. You can't handle losing people. It sucks for sure. But you're not any safer out there. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> the temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we got to stay put for a while, you know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. You didn't get the memo. <laughs> what? He loves Jane all of a sudden now that he Jane loves and her boink. We're good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? She used you, man. Damn it! 
keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something Shut else. Shut the fuck up. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Now nah, Luke is losing his everything shit. Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it with might a bunch be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. How about we Whoa. go scout it out first? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at the least. We've got and now it's starting to snow. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. I think we definitely need to leave as soon as possible, especially now that it's snowing. But... <laughs> what are we going to do? Just leave her? Or push her? And Sorry. Have her die? It's going to be all right. <laughs> She looks like she's having enough trouble just laying there. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We yeah, did the that. right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. That's you gotta true. lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. But we were still right to wait as long as we did. Remember, you agreed with me on that. Uh, uh, oh. oh, here. It's a place to sit. Yeah, that's Rebecca, not good. Let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? <laughs> I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? Uh, what is this? Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's Arvo! Oh, he no. Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. <laughs> we met him. Where everyone else came. <laughs> That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? 
He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. This is not good. Clem should just hide her face. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you the trap? hurt? <laughs> Probably. No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Bunch of Russians. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол и что вы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Rob. <laughs> and they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, uh, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. But this is how it has to be. Don't fuck with us. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. Слушай, Арво, почему они не... We have a baby. You have a baby with you? У них родничковый ребенок. You always gotta play the baby card. Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто возьми оружие сейчас. слишком много. Burico, at that day. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it. I'll do it. No, Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking don't move. I said don't move. They push us to move yet. He's leaving me. Everybody be cool. He doesn't have to go down. Burico, Burico, I'm sorry. 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 No! Mm. We had to save the baby. Oh no, we don't even Oh no. What did I do? What did I do? A bad ending. <laughs> oh, what a fucking cliffhanger. You and 40.6% of players saved Sarah at the trailer park. Wow, that many people just fucking dished her. You and 47.6% of players stole pills from Arvo, which to be honest, I think they would have tried to rob us at the end. Anyway, I don't think that would have gone any better for us. You and 50% of players volunteered to crawl through to the ticket booth. Uh, you and 56.9% of players held the baby. And then you at the end, 42.9% of players chose to shoot Rebecca. And I was thinking about the baby. I didn't really think. That would start off a war. Shit. What a fucking cliffhanger. Yikes.